In this video, I will be sharing the top reviews of the book called, Vortex. Authored by Catherine Coulter who is an American author of romantic suspense thrillers and historical romances. She has written over 50 books and has had 42 consecutive New York Times bestsellers since 1988. Her thriller The Maze was her first book to place on the New York Times hardcover bestseller list, while the co spent nine weeks on the New York Times paperback bestseller list and sold over one million copies. But before we get to the reviews let's see a little bit of what this book is about. Seven years ago, Mia Briscoe was at a frat party with her best friend Serena when a fire broke out. Everyone was accounted for except Serena. She was never heard from or seen again. Now Mia is an investigative journalist covering the political scene in New York City, but she hasn't given up trying to find out what happened to her friend that night. When an old photo taken at the frat party gives her clues, Mia realizes she knows just where to look. She enlists FBI agent Sherlock's help to uncover a sinister string of events going all the way back to that disastrous party. But some very powerful, and very dangerous, people will do anything to keep the past buried. CIA operative Olivia Hildebrandt is a team leader on a mission in Iran to exfiltrate a betrayed undercover operative. She's nearly killed by an exploding grenade and saved by a team member. After leaving Walter Reed Hospital, not only has that team member disappeared but two men come to her house to kill her. Savage believes their attack on Olivia is a direct result of the compromised mission in Iran. What intelligence was at stake? Who betrayed them? Savage quickly finds he is now a target himself and unseen enemies will stop at nothing, including murder. Now let's get to the reviews. Anita from California says wonderful suspense with plots heading in all kinds of different directions, at least at first. You have a cold case, a CIA matter and a rich entitled candidate for mayor of New York City. Ev, I forgot the psychopath murderer. That should be more than enough to satisfy even the most demanding mystery, suspense reader. Savage and Sherlock have their hands full, but they have some really great help. Mia Briscoe's best friend went missing from a frat party over seven years ago. As an investigative journalist, it has bothered Mia that Serena disappeared without a trace. Another friend who was there that night discovers some old photos and sends them to Mia. This is just what Mia needed to jumpstart this cold case investigation. When Sherlock is asked to help, that is just what Mia needs to unravel what happened to her friend. But, digging into the past is not something certain powerful people want and what is uncovered could be very dangerous for Mia. As a CIA operative Olivia Hildebrandt has been on many missions, some good, some not so good. When she and her team are sent to extract an agent who was undercover in Iran's military, this turned out to be a not so good operation. Olivia is injured and a teammate has gone missing with vital intel. Then, after returning home, Olivia is attacked and it all points to a CIA mole. Savage is involved and in his efforts to keep Olivia safe, places himself directly in danger too. Carolyn from Pennsylvania says it is no secret that I am a huge fan of Catherine Coulter's FBI series. Huge. And, this was the one series my mom always hounded me about. Is the new one out yet? It is always a long year wait in between books. And, as always, when said new book is published, I devour it in one day. And, once again, we have another suspenseful, white knuckle, edge of your seat ride. I just love Savage and Sherlock. Looks like I will be going through my home library, once again, to reread a few past books. I hate to leave two of my favorite characters for another year. Another winner, Ms. Coulter. Joanne from the United States says first I would like to thank HarperCollins Publishing for an arc of this book. The book I received was an uncorrected copy, which threw me for a loop, as I am a former English teacher in another life. Was not used to seeing so many grammatical errors when I read, but that's not why we are here. Coulter is one of my favorite authors and I am very familiar with this series. Loved that Sherlock and Savage were on separate roads this time. Both stories were exciting and the plots were well delivered. Some readers may not care for that tact, but, to each their own. This story was well done and I highly recommend it for other Cat Coulter addicts. Val from the United States says it's been a while since I've settled into a police procedural, so this read was a welcome reminder of why they are so popular. 
This book follows an FBI couple, Sherlock and Savich, into three separate investigations. One dealing with terrorism and a mole, one dealing with a real estate mogul and her third dead husband and the last dealing with a seven-year-old missing person investigation. The investigations are explored simultaneously through different narrators. CIA operative and team leader, Olivia, returns from a failed mission only to seemingly be a target. Her team rallies beside her to uncover the mystery surrounding one of their own. Savage lends his FBI expertise to help Olivia find her teammate and uncover the mole. Meanwhile, investigative reporter, Mia, gets assigned to a story involving an up-and-coming political player and his mayoral candidacy. The disappearance of her college best friend is never far from her mind. Frustrated by the lack of a suspect, a body and closure in her friend's death, she channels that energy into her job. Pieces start to come into view that brings her friend's unsolved disappearance back into the limelight. She is determined to find out what happened to her friend, why, and who caused it. Sherlock comes beside Mia to lend her expertise and intuition to her search for answers. This book had just enough fact-gathering, secrets, suspicions and twists to make the pages turn quickly. In true Coulter fashion, the book was engaging and the ending, although not a shock, was very satisfying. Another winner from this 25th book in the series. Easily read as a standalone too. Lori from Kansas says Vortex by Catherine Coulter is a highly recommended thriller and the 25th book in the FBI series. Mia Briscoe's best friend, Serena, disappeared seven years ago when the two attended a frat party where a fire broke out. Nothing was ever discovered about her disappearance. Now an investigative journalist covering the political scene Mia still wonders what happened to her friend. When a friend discovers some old photos on a phone that were taken at the party she gives them to Mia to see if they could provide any clues about what happened that night. She quickly identifies the suspects in Serena's disappearance and with the help of FBI agents, Tommy Maitland, Serena's boyfriend, and Lacey Sherlock much more is uncovered. At the same time, there is another case going on. FBI agent husband, Dylan Savich, Lacey's husband, is looking into an attack on CIA agent Olivia Hildebrandt. She killed one of the two men who attacked her. The attack is likely related to her last mission and almost certainly linked to the disappearance of CIA agent Mike Kingman, who is in hiding with a flash drive he got from an operative in Iran. Savich has to move Olivia to a safe house, protect her CIA interference, and uncover the conspiracy going on. The dual plots work, but it can be confusing remembering and keeping every character straight in the beginning for those new to the series or from someone who has not read every book in the series. As the narrative switches between storylines in each chapter, readers can figure out who is trustworthy and work on keeping track of everyone until they become better acquainted with all the characters. After a powerful opening followed by a slower start introducing the cases, the novel quickly becomes a fast-paced read and both storylines have plenty of twists to keep your attention. Mia does figure out in too large a coincidence who are the suspects in Serena's disappearance in the first third of the novel. Fans of the series will already know the agents, although character development will feel light for a newcomer to the series. You can appreciate the novel without reading previous books in the series as long as you realize you might not understand the complete history of everyone right away. The slow start serves to provide much of the needed background in order to better appreciate the plot. I have provided the sources of this video in the description, please feel free to check them out. Thank you for watching this video, if you like this video then please subscribe to the channel and share this video.